Hey y'all, in this video you will see the whole process of me drawing Navi from Avatar 1 and I just came back from Pandora World and I was really inspired by its beauty so here we are. Um, make sure to watch this video till the very end for all the tips and techniques and tricks that I use to make my art more realistic. Let's get started. This is how far I got right now and what I'm trying to do is these little glowing freckles that she has all over her face and I chose the light brush to do this because I just thought that it would be easier to create this glowing effect using a light brush, which is pretty logical. Um, but so far, they're looking like avatar pimples, so basically this is what it would look like if avatar um, had pimples, but I'll try to change the opacity and play around with some settings to make sure that it looks like it's glowing and not like this avatar has a really bad skincare routine. So let's see how this goes. make it look more realistic but again it takes away the glowing effect so now we're gonna go over here and click on the little n icon right by the little check mark and now we'll be able to play around with some settings and also change the opacity of the layer so now let's see what we like and what we don't So I'm just gonna stick to luminosity because um, it looks pretty real and the only thing that I don't like about it is that it kind of takes the glowing effect away but we're just gonna bear with it for now. And I'm about to show you a really cool trick that you're gonna wanna know when drawing skin and basically any creature that has visible skin shown. Uh, so what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna click the old skin brush and the brush library it was already pre-made you don't even need to download anything and you're just gonna want to play around with its opacity and size to um, get the right one that will fit your drawing the most and you're just gonna want to select a darker color of the area that you're drawing and then you're just gonna slightly brush over the part and remember to um, change colors as you're moving on to different parts because for example her cheek has more of a teal color and then her um, right eyebrow, like above her right eyebrow, there's a lot of white and then her forehead is mainly purple, so you know, just pay attention to that and this is how I make um, skin look more realistic and in a second you will see a close-up of her skin just so that you would know um, how realistic it makes it look. Now we're gonna move on to the next part and we're gonna do her next. So I picked this grayish teal color to start off with and I kind of like to pick a dull color or like the most average color I guess and then add all the details, the highlights and the shading later. Like here we would add um, the purple on her right side and then more of a bluish on her left side and also her stripes and everything so yeah I need to I needed to figure out on what layer that little thing was because apparently I I guess I turned off my alpha lock and this is what happened and I'm also gonna kind of fix her jawline there we go this is looking good so now let me go back to the layer with her neck and I'm just gonna go over the edges and make them smoother and I'll see you in a second in the middle of me doing her neck I decided that um, her stripes aren't as dark as they are on the reference picture so uh, because 
I drew my stripes on a separate layer. I'm just gonna turn on my awful lock on and pick a darker color and go over them again to kind of make them darker and bolder. So far so good. I outlined her neck and I also darkened some of her stripes. So we're gonna go ahead and turn on alpha lock by simply clicking on the layer and selecting alpha lock. And now we are gonna add shades, shadows, and highlights. So I have a lot of dark blue and black on the left. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add that. And then I also see quite a few highlights on her neck and there's a little bit of a dark-ish grayish teal in the middle let's go ahead and add that and then there's a lot of neon purple and neon indigo on the right side so once i add all of that and once i add all the basic highlights and shadows i'll be back So now uh, I will use my favorite life hack again, which is using the old skin brush to add texture and make your skin look extra realistic. Um, so over here where we have this big black dark spot, we're gonna use more black, more dark blue, more darker colors. And then as we move um, to the right, we will use more blue and teal colors and as we reach the very right then we're gonna use more neon uh, purple and dark indigo very bright purple highlights and this purple glow so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna select one of my other favorites brushes which is called light pen and I'm gonna try to use it to add the glowing effect so now I'm thinking of selecting a hot pink Woo, that was way too bright so now I'm just gonna kind of go over the edges and notice how I have my alpha lock on it makes it so much easier and I'm just gonna try to add a highlight and let me go ahead and switch to a lighter color because it's not necessarily hot pink it's more of a light pink so I'm just gonna go ahead and add that using the light pen brush <laughs> Now it is the time to move on to adding stripes and the brush that I'm going to be using for this task is the soft brush. Again, it's my favorite 
for blending or coloring in things and I'll have my opacity set to a little bit below 50, about 40-ish and I'm going to select a fairly dark color and as you can see it's turning out pretty good. I kind of want to make her stripes look very identical to the ones on the reference picture just like so and I like how if you don't push really hard um, with your upper pencil then it will also act like a smudge tool without actually turning on the smudge tool so this is like a two in one brush it's a brush and also a smudge tool I love it video and I hope that you found this video somewhat helpful and definitely learned something new and also make sure to subscribe to my channel right now because soon I'll be posting the second part where we will finish this beautiful drawing of Navi from Avatar 1 together so you definitely don't want to miss that and also let me know whether or not you're excited for Avatar 2 that's gonna be coming out in December 2022 and that was it for today. Bye. I'll see you in the next tutorial.